Good morning, everyone. It's Jeff here, and we're going to continue our series on preventing heart disease and lowering blood pressure. Now, hopefully you've seen the uh, video on vitamin K2, MK4, and MK7, and, and that is extremely important because basically if calcium does not have the vitamin K2 to tell it where to go, it will start basically attaching itself to the artery walls, which will lead to hardening of the arteries. However, uh, with that said, what we're gonna talk about today may even be more important, right? Because what we're talking about today is magnesium deficiency. Now, bottom line is, even if you eat right, right, chances are, and most people don't eat right, but chances are if you eat right, you're still gonna have vitamin and mineral deficiencies because of the way foods are farmed today, right? So with that said, most individuals are going to be magnesium deficient, and magnesium does many, many things, right? Now, the first thing I want you to think about, you know, we're going back to hardening of the arteries and think of calcification of plaque, which means calcification of the arteries. Now, if you ever get a chance, right, Take a calcium supplement peel, put it in a glass of water. If you put it in there, it's just going to sit there and it's going to float, all right? Uh, might sink to the bottom, all right? But most of them float, all right? And then if you were to take uh, a magnesium tablet and break it up and put it in the water with the calcium, guess what happens? The calcium begins to dissolve, all right? Now think about that. If you're magnesium deficient, and calcification of your arteries are the main problem, what do you need? You need something to help decalcify, right? Magnesium is the culprit. Now, once again, magnesium, that, that is a, you know, that is a very rudimentary way of saying this, but magnesium does a lot of things, right? Uh, magnesium helps make one of the most potent antioxidants in the body, glutathione, right? Uh, you need magnesium for that. Uh, magnesium, we're, we're going to talk about cancer prevention, and, and we're going to talk about mitochondria, and magnesium is a key player in that, all right? Like I said, more to come on that. But bottom line, you know, there have been research studies that show if you increase your magnesium uptake, guess what's going to happen to your blood pressure? It goes down, all right? So, what I would tell you, you know, they, they basically tell you you need somewhere around uh, a 300 to 400 additional uh, milligrams of calcium per day. And I, I would say you may even want to go a little higher than that, uh, depending on how deficient you may be, all right? The other thing I will say is be careful going, getting too much magnesium, especially too fast, all right? Because if you know anything about laxatives, guess what laxatives are made of? <laughs> magnesium, right? So if you don't want to spend a lot of time in the bathroom, you want to increment and slowly increase your magnesium uptake. But hopefully this helps. And uh, like I said, we're going to talk about some more things that may prevent or help you prevent uh, heart disease. Um, like I said, keep an open mind to what we say. And like I said, Everything I tell you, I want you to go and look it up for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, do your own research because you are your best advocate for health. 